this is Rita and welcome back to my pastel art channel. If you're new to my channel, please press subscribe and click the bell icon so that you receive notifications of all my new videos and demonstrations. Today I will show you how I painted a tropical fish called a unicorn fish. This will be something new and different from my usual wildlife paintings, but it's a lot of fun to paint. So join me with this lesson and let's get started. I'm going to create a soft, blurry background of the ocean water. I will be using several colors and then blend them using a sponge applicator to create a soft, blurry effect. This will take several uh, layers of colors and blending to create the effect I'm looking for. I am using UART sanded paper for this project, and the sponge applicators work great for blending on this uh, sandy surface. I am using a photo reference from a photographer, Bill Tepelman, for this demonstration. So now I'll let you follow along and I will add some more narration throughout the video. Thank you. I'm going to apply a light blue as my first layer of color for the unicorn fish. I will gradually build my layers of color over the light blue with colors of turquoise, royal blue, and greens to create the uh, vivid colors in the fish. This first layer of light blue will fill in some of the tooth of the paper so that as I add more layers over it, the colors will begin to blend very smoothly and softly together.
I'm going to add some of the patterns that are seen on the side of his body. Some of it is created from the scales in his skin. So I want to darken him with some darker blue to create the shading and patterns in the skin. These patterns also help uh, with the structure and contour of his body. So now I will also define his gill area and continue to develop the details on the surface level of the fish and then move on to his uh, fins and tail. I have one more fin to complete and once this area is done I've decided to add another small fish in the lower corner of the painting. I think another small fish will add some interest to the painting. It will be another unicorn fish. I hope you have enjoyed this demonstration on how to paint a unicorn fish.
If you like this video, please press like and subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget the notification uh, bell icon to receive notifications of all my new lessons. Thank you for watching.